We have it. Starbuck on the left hand side. At least half of Starbuck on the left hand side. Sock on the right hand side. Orc versus human. What's the plays? What's the strats? Where's the expansions? Will we get a Phantom Aces player? A second Phantom Aces player in the winner bracket semi-final after Law Light. We should always expect a Farseer, but there's multiple, multiple ways to do this. Super fast tech, grunt opener, headhunter opener, grunt into headhunter opener. Hard to read. Not as hard to read as if Starbuck would have gone random, but still. Sock on the other side, always the same opener uh, when it comes to units. Uh, Archmage, footies, all the way. But then what? How many farms? What's the creep route? Is there an expansion? Later tech? Where's the tower? So many variables in these early games. Scouting is essential. And here we go. Tech on the way. Quite a bold opener. Very fragile one. No unit. But... Adding the grunts afterwards, so you gotta rely on your Farseer quite a bit. And the Wolfies to do the damage. Definitely some pushes possible, Chad is saying it, maybe a cheeky Beastmaster. Maybe ping issues, hotkey issues, sound issues. Everything's possible. Maybe also ping issues. As it took some time to get the game started. Go Bucky go. Okay. There we go. Everything continues. Wolf to the left hand side. Ooh, it's a super fast tech on both sides. Greedy, greedy. No expansion play anywhere. Nothing really to delay here, except the leveling. And I think if you do some damage in the main, force some militia time, delay level two, that is already a big win for Starbuck. But so far, everything under control. They're playing around each other. Little skirmishes here and there. No big commitments. And only chip damage. Trying to disrupt the early game, as in Warcraft 3. Everything has a big ripple effect. It's a little bit... Uh, the butterfly effect game. Every split second in the early has a lot of effect on the late game. So now... A couple of militia were called, like four, immediately recognizable in the lumber, if you compare it directly. Plus an arcane tower coming, but no big kills here. That would have been a disaster and to a, to a player of the caliber of Sock that shouldn't really happen. Resummon before there's any experience and this is an Archmage, 1.6, he's stuck there. Like back in the old Farsi Headhunter days on Northern Isles, kinda hard to get level 2 early. But Sok, extremely conservative with his mana. I think we've seen one water elemental so far. And that's it. Starbuck has a shop, goes for the TC, has the fast attack. Not by much, but he does. Ooh, lumber mill in the back. Okay, some experience stolen at least, but that's a stat. Level 1 Archmage commitment?
Defensive burrows though, kind of hard to reach, but it is the Beastmaster, there we go! Oh, that's brutal. Oh, Shockwave first, the lot is coming! We got Defend up, this is so well done by Sock. Starbuck has to make this as expensive as possible. You're facing a lot of summons with Water Elementals and Quill Beast, and you need that dispel. Problem is, how do you fuel the summoners if you don't have Brilliant Zora? So it's not the end of the world for Starbuck just yet. Sock will run out of juice, will have to let go of the pressure. It's a little bit of a Sock special. You can expect that to happen. And that's a lot of damage on the heroes. On both of the heroes, actually. That's a Shockwave soonish. But number one priority is obviously to get that uh, launch up. And for that, you gotta be home to prevent exactly that push. Double Sanctum Mass Casters. Oh, lots of damage. Water Elemental gone. Archmage moved away. Quillbees dealt with as well. And with only one Quillbees, it's not enough damage anymore. Good position, good defense, good timing. And now... You could worry about all the levels here. We have a 6 minute 30 game and not a single level up. And no shop for Sock. That hurts. Okay, I'm playing a creeping game. Action will still take a little while. Everybody needs more spells. What a uh, brilliant Zora first and foremost, especially with the mass caster army. Endurance Zora to have some sort of solution against slow. <gasps> oh, I was worried for a second that the Archmage dies to the creeps, but uh-uh. So yeah, um, the first Lodge cancel was a bit annoying, but now everything seems fine. We bring the artillery with Shockwave Chain Lightning. Shaman are coming against uh, this, and usually the Mountain King carries you in the late game. But if you go for a Beastmaster, obviously, you have to do a lot of damage with that initial push. And it was damaged, but was it great? I don't know, I don't know. Tier 2 expansion seems to be the play on both sides. And Starbuck is here. Facing two level two heroes now with the bear. Hard to deal with, but the damage coming in from Wyvern, pretty nicely done. Building like a yellow horde wall between the left hand side and reinforcements. Archmage chased. There's a TP. Can he reach for Shockwave? Is that even enough? Don't think so. But this is a nice disruption. Lots of units saved and he's trying to run down. He has a shockwave with a chain lightning archmage kill despite the TP. And Sock is in trouble. The wyvern might fall, which is annoying. Oh, 11 HP save. And this is all time without Brilliant Zora. Beastmaster on its own. I saw the shockwave coming, didn't see that he has enough. For well, the chain lightning as well. Holy moly, Starbucks is playing this so well. Now... Don't overcommit. Didn't even kill the wyvern over the tree. There we go. Oh, so many great saves by Starbuck. Stellar performance so far. But he can't cancel that expansion. He made it expensive. He delayed Archmage leveling. Oh, of course, but casts are coming. And man, a kingdom for a heal scroll now. Oh, Purge. Block. Can't get the four points around, though. 
Archmage, what are you doing there? Little bit odd, but okay. Things are getting hectic. But for Starbuck, he used exactly the time he needed to get the Great Hall up. Now, a lot of recovery is necessary on both sides. Both at 50, both with an expo. Levels clearly in favor of Starbuck. You can just rinse and repeat, I think. But breakers are coming. Question is, is that too important if the build is shockwave chain lightning anyway? Because we don't have wolves level 2 here, obviously. It's gonna be it, mass AoE. And Sock doesn't have anything ready to counter this. Just yet. Needs a lot of heal scrolls, but heal scrolls only available on the left hand side. And that was great positioning by Starbuck to prevent exactly that. Chain Wave takes care of two of the Sorks. Breakers, obviously very annoying as they take your mana away, but for that, you got more mana potions and you use that. This is a very, very destructive force. Now Shaman in the mix as well to counter the militia. Brutal game so far. Absolutely brutal. Starbuck showing his A-game. And another Shockwave ready to go if he needs it. But now again, don't overcommit. Know when to fight and yeah, sending all the hurt units back one more time. If he had stopped now all of the chain lightning, a kill might be possible, but not anymore. Still no level three hero for Sock and that is 12 minutes in. Incredible. Still, Four units died by Starbuck as well. Plus the potions that were expensive. But everyone got uh, got to invest into so much. Despite having expansions, none of these players is rich. Kodo up, heal scroll board. Both are gunning for that overseer. Starbuck gets it. Boots of Keltalas, not necessarily the best, but... Oh, that Kodo though is a prime objective. Nice one. So, Sock is fighting back, clawing into this game. And late game mass breakers is still very hard to deal with. Triple Sanctum, that's exactly what we get. Quillbeast are falling off later, just a little bit. But the bear is becoming ridiculously powerful. No reinforced defenses. The Farsia needs mana. Don't underestimate Chain Lightning. You need it for the combo to work. And so far I haven't seen Shockwave. This is the most powerful weapon you got. Chain Wave. This now. Could have been anticipating here since the cast is back. Level 4 won't make the biggest difference. Kodo's need to snack. That shockwave was sweet. If he has another one in a bit, could be 4 to 5 kills. But Sok is pulling them back. That means uh, change of pace. Going for the hero. And recovery. Great recovery in general by Sok. The triple sanctum I like a ton if you can afford it. Was he actually able to get out of that base? Wow. Sock, seriously, the best human player is not portaling and get stuck in this base. Very conservative use of spells for Starbuck. And that allowed Sock to come back with a big breaker wall. We're running for the shop for another heal scroll. So far, Sock isn't in a position to go for it. Will we get the shockwaves now? That's a nice one. 
But mana is an issue on the Farsia. One Chain Lightning, maybe. And that's about it. Everything is down to half HP. Lots of damage, but no kills. At least map control is back. And the Wolves are doing spectacularly better than I thought. And that's the Mesmer that we were looking for. Just when we thought that Sock comes back into this game. Starbuck with seven kills in super quick succession. Has, does he have one more? There's another shockwave lining it up. Not pulling the trigger yet, though. The bear at the bottom is quite annoying. That shockwave could have come earlier, I think. Takes another breaker out. We're approaching 5-5. Five, five. Great game so far. Supply is even. Levels way in the bar for Starbuck. Can you deal with the breakers? He's just going for the hero, isn't he? But without the spells, does it work? I think you can't fight when you're out of juice. Mana juice, that is. You want to trade XP. If your economy is safe and you're close to 5-5, five, five, I think it's the right call. We have a Devour, but that will still take some time. Sock is getting reinforcements quickly. Everything is under control. No speed scroll, no TP. That was the last bit of consumables to be working with. But man, the switch to Grunts is actually working out quite well. Because the grunts are demolishing this! The chain lightning! Oh, Sock! Lagging a little bit wouldn't have helped, I guess. This is so many kills after one combo. Starbuck was just waiting for the double level up. And that's what he got. Unbelievable. And now this is painful. Beastmaster about to fall. Archmage also. <sighs> Forced into a TP. Sock still in this. Ooh, I like that. And snare and dispel ready at the expo. Especially the end snare edition, right? Like it takes the shaman a lot of the spells to deal with the bear. But if you ensnare him outside of peon range, what can you do? And I can't stress this enough. Shop control. Shop control, shop control, shop control. The best thing you can have against Starbucks strategy is heal scrolls and this now 18 minutes in is the first heal scroll he gets in the game game is still very close though the levels tell a story no TP on sock Ooh, dangerous that's the heal scroll right away. Ooh, prevented quite some kills here. Some lightning shields would be amazing on the TC right now to follow it up. Farsia in a little bit of trouble as well. Wants to get in the middle of it all to use the heal scroll. And that could have been a quad kill right there if for one lightning shield. That's the heal scroll. That is so juicy. 600 gold for Sock. Bit problematic. Invo potion triggered. There's so many grunts though. And they are fantastic. Fantastic against the breakers. If there's no Mountain King that claps everything, you can play grunts. 
Why not? Blizzard could still harm them. But there is no Blizzard. It's still Water Elementals. And Sock trying his best. He's trying to save so much, but to the effect of so little. Archmage getting uh, almost blocked there as well. Perch over and over. Invis cast was nice. TC? No way! He's surrounded by his own unit and the level 5 TC is gone. Very, very close. 0.03 XP away from the ultimate that could have saved them. Maybe a bit too greedy. Incredible. Maybe not enough lumber even to get the TC back now. Which is quite odd. Level 6 on the Farseer. Invis, Woofies most likely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not doing these... Uh, Earthquake shenanigans again, do we? Tome of retraining. Now it's getting cold. Did Starbuck bring a coat? Here we got level 6 on the TC. Would love to be dead to get the mana back. And we don't have any raiders, right? Ah, uh, one of them. But I guess it's still at the bottom, maybe? What a sick game. 21 minutes in. Still everyone's game to take. Starbuck is lacking damage. Sock is taking over, isn't he? And Starbuck is super lumber starved. Over and over and over again. In Korea, you're not visiting the zoo. The zoo is vi visiting you. But it's not a pleasant experience. Needs a hero kill. Needs something. Beastmaster actually hurting him. Uh, gets hurt by the Archmage Blizzard. <sighs> That's a pretty sick game, everybody. Main base is about to expire. This Misha gives a lot of XP. Level 3 Blizzard, level 3 Quill Beast, interesting. Sok is trying to win this game with Summon Harass and Blizzard. Starbuck is in a difficult spot. Like, this army is not made for a base race. But it's also very hard to fight! And Sock wants to close it out now. Blizzard is terrifying! But so is the Shockwave. We have a heal scroll on Sock's side. That is gone now. The Shockwave just a tiny bit too late. Oh, is he not stopping the TC focus? This looks like a mistake. Yep, TC is coming back. Full HP, full mana. More shockwaves here, but the blizzard is a beast. All the cast is gone. Sends them back in. Shockwave! Just waiting for it. What's he waiting for, though? Isn't that the perfect opportunity? Trying to go for the hero snipe, but... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Very little is so satisfying than seeing a chain lightning bounce six times. Archmage, naked! Can he pass something? Nope! Just wiped out! He passed his life! And this could be the Beastmaster falling as well. The Breakers are chasing the cow, but uh-uh. Not working this time. TC with boots! To get it with the block, of course, he has insane movement speed thanks to the aura as well. Archmage, back, but another end snare, decapitates him, level 7! This back and forth is insane. But the economy for Starbuck is really not good. Due to all the harass, deals with it now. Oh my god. Creeps are getting involved. Yeah, and now you would love to have control magic again. Crit, 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 crit. Sokka, you're done here. 
Are you out of options? He has a huge lead, but the heroes are constantly getting caught just like the... No way! A little avenue, but there's another net. And there's another kill. So expensive, this game for Sock. 800 gold left. Magnificent. Absolutely chaotic. Can he even get... Yeah, he can get the Archmage back at some point. But this is so many kills now. GG! Starbuck does it! Whoo, yeah, that sight of relief! A little belly dance now to celebrate! Ah, unfortunately not. Whoo, yeah, that was so stressful. Starbuck not quite happy with his game in the end. Because I think he could have closed it out earlier and in a more decisive way. But in the end, most important is a W is a W and nobody can take that away from you. Sock maybe played with a little spike at one point, but I guess that didn't matter in that game. That late game still looked quite good. And now imagine this with the Mountain King. It's going to be an entirely different game. Great early game by Starbuck, preventing Archmage levels forever. Good recovery by Sock with that Lodge kill. But then Shockwave Chain Lightning, man. Whew. Shop control, shop control, shop control. This Beastmaster can absolutely work if you get the Heal Scrolls. But if you don't, it's just murder after murder after murder. I love it. So. Can someone explain that the Beastmaster second? Um, it can buy you a ton of time if the push hits right to delay the tier 2 buildings. And then usually you get that expo up, delay your opponent expansion. And win the game economically from there. Um, usually, I think bear level 3 is amazing. Even for late game fights. And also hero focus. Like, that thing is just crazy. Hard to dispel. I don't really know why Sock went for Quill Beast. Maybe just for... For... Um, Echo Harass. Against Wyvern as well. I always, like, level 3 bear should be guaranteed. But yeah, this game by Sock fell apart early on. Great game by both. Fantastic game by both. But yeah, that was certainly not the meta. Even though we see it a lot from Sock with that Beastmaster, the real test for Starbuck is Mountain King. How do you counter Mountain King is the question. Except from maybe dodging fights the entire game. And the next map is a map where you can dodge a lot because that is twisted. And there's a lot of, lot of space. Here we go, everybody. Match point. Oi, 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 What is happening with that text? It is burged. Very hard to read. I would have easily translated this for you, but you know, with the stuttering of the text, it's very hard for me to read. Thank you, excellent 67 for the tier one sub. Miss that whole explain because ads never again. Second best reason to sub, getting rid of all the ads. But I guess um, I always try to not have the ads in game. And that was real close because I'm running out of 
charges for the snooze button. And of course, the best one is to save Walker 3 Esports with every single sub. So, different build by Starbuck. Not going super fast tech anymore, but rather instant headhunters, eh? On the other side, no Mountain King. Kind of understandable, as that lab creep is so good with the water elementals. Is it fast expansions now? Is that why Starbuck wants more pressure and more map presence? Early items, very important. How much damage can Starbuck do early on? Also very important. Boots of Kel'Thalas for Sock is not the item he wanted. So, how many militia will fall? Nice deny on the water elemental. These militia look pretty healthy, to be honest. Can he get at least one kill? Ooh, wow. That's pretty sick. Clean as a whistle. Thank you, Thrawnist, for the six month resub. Still trying. Ooh, the headhunters. Uh, still trying to delay the lumber income. The longer you delay that, the longer you delay defend. And you keep your power spike up. Oh, the tech is far progressed. Feels like Sock is trying to buy time for an expo with all the resources he got. And still producing workers, of course, but can't fight the time! With defend, everything changes. <sighs> but it's. This is late! This is late and mind you, this is Sock's map pick. Starbuck probably didn't accomplish kill-wise as much as he originally wanted to. Nice save though. And if he can pressure this here now, that's footman falling, that's militia falling. It's even more time. Yeah, we'll see it. Like, there's three targets. So, a panda follow-up is possible. Ah, cues to TC immediately. Might be going... Oh, there was another kill there. Uh, might be going counter-expansion. Good thing for Sock. Water Elementals level 2. A great weapon. And I guess he survived the initial pressure, but also level 2 on the orc side. Raider Shaman, maybe a token wyvern for creeping. No all-in commitment, despite 
the likely Mountain King second. And I love that early shop. It feels quite necessary. It delays the tech a little bit further. But yeah, I think you're kind of stuck in that position if you don't go for it. Good cancels though. And creep speed for Starbuck is still good by having all these headhunters. Ooh, spiked barricades! I like! He sees this attack coming. Spike barricades only at 50% because he queued fortified before. And that is expensive. Doing damage with water elemental is not the easiest. No stomp, no shockwave, but we got perch and that is good XP. Some of these headhunters find themselves in a wasp with a footman that's not where you want to be. But as long as the burrows don't fall, I think this is fine. Because there's no real chance for another footman attack after this one once the spikes are up. Stutter stepping looks good. But that was a lot of time and all the time that Sock needed to mine off his expansion, to unfold the tier 2 tech and most importantly to prevent the levels of Farsia and TC. So due to all the investments into defense... Spikes too! Okay, I was about to say you can't really expand. Spikes too confuses me a little. But all right. We'll see if that holds a value. Defend is in. Burrows don't do that much. And the thing about spikes is, if you never attack the burrows, the spikes don't do anything. Sock has a very good idea of what's happening. Mountain King is coming as well. TC and Farsi are close to three. So if Sock is, was about to say, donating uh, these uh, water elementals away against the dispel. It's gonna be scary. So the defensively, Starbucks set up. Sock is filthy rich. Double Sanctum. Triple Sanctum immediately. Ooh, cheeky witch doctor! Yeah, if you're a around 50 and you don't want to fight and you think you have the necessary amount of the spell on a big map like this why not go for the beast mast uh, for the for the witch doctor so much vision and that's level three on the fast in a sec And as much as Sock was delaying the progress of Starbucks levels, this is now the exact opposite with the Mountain King being uh, without any knowledge really. Ooh, the Chain Lightning didn't skill it before, goes for Wolves now. Still got damage before it's getting burned and that is a huge hit to Sock's economy. It's not the end of the world as you see 700 gold and he can recover from that. But Starbucks charging up. To two bays play himself. Great damage done. 
Great damage done. On the cost of only a shaman. Somewhere peons are falling. Not 100% sure. Should, must be in the main or something. Alright. Even trades. Breakers getting sniped as well. What a slobber knocker here. Both players are rising in the ranks quickly. <gasps> Almost a four points around. Ooh. Oh, can he get it now? One spell would be the end, but there's a potion ready and the level up making things a lot harder. There was also the speed scroll that you kind of want to use to disengage. Grunts diving deep. That's a freebie here as well. Everyone's game. Oh yeah, you saw. Oh, there was a lot of damage in the economy line. Reminder, Starbuck came into this as the winner of his group. Didn't lose a single series just yet and again having the lead. But a tough, tough opponent. The middle is plastered with watch awards. Again, he was called. And the rune braces are actually quite good against the bolt. One at one point. Hero focus will be part of the play. Unlike Northern Isles, though, there's two shops. And that results in Sock having two heal scrolls already. And yeah, a lot is about here. Starbuck is getting ready for 80 food. Economy restored, but Sock is there. And he goes tier 3 this time. Yo, this is scary. Control magic, paladin, maybe knights, mortars with frag shards. Yo, this is insane. Great usage of footmen, despite the spikes, just parking him there. Lots of casters, scroll of the beast, but... Doesn't do too much. Mountain King 3, and this is where he starts to get uh, seriously dangerous with the clap. Only one heal scroll against it. Needs to use it soon. Chain Wave is always an option alongside Purge. No way, Sock! With the TP and the heal scroll. The humans throwing their heroes away today. Oh, that's problematic. <laughs> All the advantage that he worked so hard for. Out the window. And Starbuck is in control now. He's not getting nervous. He's not making any mistakes. This is supposed to be his game. Chain wave. Oh, sick dodge by Sock. But for how much longer? There's another wave. There's another chain lightning. Is it though? If the breakers continue to drain mana, that takes a huge weapon away. <laughs> Wyvern for some damage countered immediately. That's a gyro gone. Air superiority. The Starbuck again. Great fighting spirit by Sock for now. Preventing the rat spot is Starbuck. Also, for now. Control magic as tier 3 is done. And Starbuck knows now, like, this is gonna be problematic. Nice steal with the chain lightning, where there was also a lot of mana invested. Probably the last bit of mana.
But Starbuck, with that Expo running, is willing to trade XP for that 5-5. Five, five. And he's getting there real close now. Archmage too, though. One more breaker is one level up. And if he dispels the water elementals or gets the gyros, this is also level 5 here. Three level 5 here. It was just the Mountain King. Good purges against the gyros over and over and over. And that was a little bit of mana. We have Chain Lightning again. But there's also great mana recovery on these trees. Doesn't matter if you hit the kill threshold. Sick fights. Basically the entire series. Just non-stop fights. And now you'd love to have a speed scroll, but for Sock it's more important to go for the red spot. And we still have two base, two base. All of them know it. But Sock the one with tier 3. And I don't have to tell you how strong human tier 3 is. Can you afford all these precious goods when you constantly have to buy all the items? Yo, Staff of Silence is quite sick, by the way. I mean, can be purged, but... Gotta have the presence of mind and every single second is more time for Sock to split. And pull the casts away. Sound portal, invo potion, now newly found ring of the Archmagi. That pally could be sick. Lightning shield really doesn't do too much. And it feels like Sock got this game. Despite the hero kill. In the middle, TC falling. Yep, tier 3 human overwhelming. The control magic started a snowball. So many levels in quick succession. Polymorph! Not even... Not even laughing at it, but yeah, there's limited dispel. Can't do anything when your army is just a few sheeple. And Sock does it, puts his name on the board, fighting the lower bracket. <sighs> Exhausting series. Non-stop fighting. Twisted goes to Sock, despite a little blunder in the mid game. I saw someone saying in chat, no human just wins because of tier 3. Do you know how hard it is to get to tier 3? To have two minutes of no value after investing into it? That was great. And also, the echo harass. There was too much? That was a bit too much. <sighs> Got 40 minutes till the Hive Workshop Cup with new maps. I thought it would be done here quicker and I have a little bit of time. I was speculating, can I get groceries today? Uh-uh. Can't have anything today. So, without further ado though, it's getting late in China as well. I want to finish this. We want to finish the winner bracket quarterfinal. Who faces Fortitude tomorrow? It's between Starbuck and Sock. One map and it's Tight Hunters. It's Starbucks pick. The Wolves in hindsight, probably a mistake. King first now. The guts on this guy. The siding match. Everything on the line. Mountain King first. Of course. 
Sock, no stranger at all to Mountain King first. If there's one player in the world who knows how to do it, it's him. And Starbuck, you gotta get ready for that. Whoa, Mountain King Lab Creep. That's a sick opener if it works. But Starbuck is coming. Rushing to... Oh, is he rushing over? No, stops at the turtle. Still, this camp is pretty big. Sock couldn't even take the first priest out. So this will delay the camp by a lot. We got a grunt opener here, so the grunt into headhunter opener. And Sock was right. You can creep this. But everything is hurt. Is there potential for some kills? On Twisted, Starbuck got nothing out of the initial harass. Shop isn't up. Work is falling. Militia called, takes into lumber. Solid counter surround by Starbuck, but I think Sock is just surrounding the, sur the counter surround. That's it. Grunt down. Ooh, that was expensive. Three farms already, with the fourth one coming. Lab creep into expo. Good wolf scout. And that is level two for the fast era as well. Is there mana still? Absolutely. <laughs> Annoying. Very annoying. Socks certainly slowed down. Easy snipe in the middle. Ooh, Wind of Mana stealing is fantastic against the Mountain King. Who will suffer either from not using the spells and reserve mana or from lack of mana regen until tier 2 and tier 2 is far away so taking mana points away from him is taking almost a storm bolt away from him is basically a saved unit but the mountain king is level 3 and the mountain king goes hunting Every bolt should be a killed headhunter. Starbucks saw him coming, retreating in time. Very hard to catch anything. Good disengagement. And again, we're getting the spikes. Interesting. Chain Lightning secures the kill as well. And wolves against this expansion should be good. And force more Arcane Towers. Uh oh Or a town portal! Can he dance out of this? He can! Well oiled up wolf. Sock is still tier one. Still didn't start the tech. It is Raider Walker this time. All the grunts, all the headhunters, very passive. So, does Starbuck know and assume that there's no clap? He must if he saw a bash already. Don't know if he did. Thank you, Infi, for the sub.
And yeah, these spikes are tricky. He saw the bash? Alright. Well then... This is... I don't know, hard to estimate. Later on... Clap... And Spirit Link are kind of a synergy, to be honest. But we've seen Starbucks Shop Control on Northern Isles and that was exquisite. Big mana potion for the TC is insane! We also got stomped this time. No shockwave. But yeah, Stormbolt is getting rid of a lot here. Need the Spirit Link against single target damage. Spirit Link is amazing against AoE damage. A very uh, double-edged sword. Starbuck is not looking happy. I'm not looking happy either because the stream again. Jeez. Come, 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 come. Ah, no. <sighs> I was so happy not seeing this damn shark anymore. Don't tell me it crashed again. Again, I can only apologize. This is, uh... It is, it is what it is. I'm gonna look at other streams. Oh. Oh, why can't I yell in the yell in never yet, darling? You see, you hear him, right? I mean, Linga never is all in. Yeah. Linga never yet, darling. Exactly. That's what I said too, Ted. Second soul. Guys, do what's the soul? You tell me, brother. Huh. All right. Um. So yeah, what what Ted just said. I mean. Is that a complete disc? And we have to regame. Hmm. I think this time we don't have the first person. B2W should buy and pay for the servers close to the top players IMO just to increase the stability or even better let butt crumbs do it. You know that we pay like 350 euros every single month to keep servers up. Yeah. <laughs> and tell me please, please, please tell me how to buy a server close to Slovenia and South Korea. Like what is close to Slovenia and South Korea? <laughs> like... Oh, you didn't know? Oh, okay. <laughs> Then I didn't say anything. Um, you know what, guys? The game is up in Flow TV. You know what that means, right? I uh, apologize 
to the orgas, but I see in Flow TV that both observers disconnected. And so there's no way that the stream is coming back. So we have to go Flow TV. Sorry for the inconvenience. This might take a few minutes. Yeah, uh, we love all the sponsors. Every single one, great sponsors. But we gotta do this now. Um, 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 um. Okay, I gotta fast forward a little bit. Starlink will solve this problem soon enough. How to show that you have no idea about network with one single phrase. The ping to Starlink alone is 60 MS. And of course the company is run by a complete idiot who has no idea what he's doing and is hurtful to the world. So there's that. So... Where did we end up? Players forces are under attack. We'll of course pause uh, or get to the real um oh, damn it. There we go. Uh the real speed once we are where we ended up. Okay, here's the surround dodge. We're gonna move back in a bit. We're gonna have a fight bottom left and then we go back to real speed. Okay. Where is my flow TV? There we go. All right, everything hurt here. Be problematic. There's not much left. But there we go. Still teching is sock. These storm bolts are dangerous and deadly. But as I said, Spirit Link distributes the damage to all the units affected by it. So against single target, it's really freaking good. And that TC has stomped this time, which is great crowd control, so Sock can't stay here any longer. He got the expo up though, and he disrupted the creep spot here. We have a cow with a big mana potion though, can dash through his spells, spirit link on the wolves as well, which is fine. And now we have to rise up to the level 3 TC. Get him! Thank you very much for the sub. And Starbuck? Uh, seem to be pretty confident here to be able to take this one. If you just take this consumable away, that's three out of three consumables on the map for Starbuck. And a big heal potion against the Mountain King is always helpful. 
Could just be worth gobbling up this XP to get closer to three. You got that one. And then TP out with a few losses maybe. But you decide to intervene. All right. If you don't have the time to feast on the creeps, feast on your opponent and get that level three. Well done so far. But stop, uh, Sock. Oh my god, that's a lot of losses here. That's uh, another footy, another footy, Wyvern are coming in. And unlike with an Archmage, Water Elemental, like, what do you do? How do you harass? Can't stormbolt the building anymore. But suck. We're going tier 3. We're going Dragonhawks. We're going Griffins. And this will be hard to counter for Starbuck in general. Human air is so good and so hard to counter in the ultra late game. Bats, to a degree, they work. <gasps> oh, Pally. Oh, nice around. Ethereal form, of course. Okay, if there's no additional Stormbolt. Can't really allow this Mountain Ting King to get out. Needs a storm, needs something. Gets him, can't heal. Can't. Oh my god, TP just a second away. That was a sick escape. <sighs> Dodging bullets here. So, how do you counter human tier 3? Bat riders work to a degree. You get ahead in levels that way, even though it's very expensive. But the one counter to that is armor upgrades, and we got the first one. Plus, Devotion Aura, where you got the first one as well. Ooh. Still time for Starbuck, trying to get the expo up. Oops. And there's little to creep for Sock, to be honest. He's rich. But what's left? Like, this orange camp is gone, the Null Overseer is there, and then the Rat Spot. But that's about it. Um, Starbuck, by the way, desperately needs reinforced defenses. Like yesterday. Thank you, Bud Crumbs, for gifting us up to Jabba the Butt. I can't pause ads anymore. Five gifted subs, my man! B2W buddy in the chat. And now he catches him again. Another town portal. Would be quite expensive, as mass air is very expensive. Aiming for the Pally, who has nothing. He's trapped there as well. And Starbuck gets the kill. The so important kill. But Kodo on the other side. Solo experience on the Mountain King now. Can he catch him and force another TP? Not really. The Militia being caught. And that's, I was about to say, uh, important because Lumber is an issue. But no, Lumber isn't an issue if you have a Shredder and stand at 1,300. Pally back. Sock still rich. Greedy to stay at 50. Going for heavy hero nuke. With the blood mage. <sighs> this game could go quite a bit longer here. Starbucks Expo up. He decided to not go for bad riders. And now it's too late. There's too much armor on these units to use bad riders efficiently. Cow the red, thank you for the sub. Because uh, the bad rider explosion damage gets reduced partly from armor. And then at some point, if the economy is even, it's not worth it anymore. Dude, I'm so scared about these exposed burrows. Once Griffins gets near them, or even the Dragonhawks. 
It's such a vulnerability. Red spot here is awesome. Especially if it's movement speed. And soon the map will be empty. And then you can only contest the middle. So far, two heal scrolls versus one, but one invul potion versus zero. This takes forever though. So Stomp, of course, not too much value right now, as there's very, very little ground units, only the heroes. And the damage is absurd. So Kodos and mass piercing damage. That's supposed to save you. Rush for the shop, as expected. Heroes by Sokka quite far behind. We do have a fight, but it's really odd. Shackles are coming in, level five. Chain Lightning obviously works against there, but the Wyvern are falling quickly. One of the wind being put to good use. Two of the Dragonhawks falling already. Level three on the wolves, dealing more and more damage. The, oh, the Blood Mage saved by a staff. That was important, but Sock is losing quite a bit of army here. Still two heal scrolls, and these raiders are untouched. They can ensnare until the end of days. Does it work? Can he brute force through this? Two more dragon hawks out of the fight and a value griffin rider being caught by yet another ensnare. But don't be fooled. This can still go anybody's way. Mountain King 50% hammers away on these raiders with T has to do. Level five on the TC. Ooh, neck and neck fight. One heal scroll remaining. Blood Mage being for stunned once again and is falling now. The siphon would be incredibly important. Pulling back. Both recover. Starbuck with a little bit of a win in this fight here. TC, by the way, 14 armor. Insane. Like that little scout farm put to good use. Blood Mage kill is important. You want to prevent him from level 2, 3, 4 for as long as possible. And we continue to snipe the Dragonhawks. When is it critical damage for Sock? Not just yet. And by killing a Dragonhawk, you kind of open up the way for Wyvern again. Doodle Hotel, thank you for the six month resub. Go, Bucky! A town is under siege. Scouting for an expansion here as well. Tome of Retraining. For Chain Lightning 3. Yeah, if you can't pressure the expansions. Wait, he used the tome, but the wolves were still there on cooldown, I guess. Ooh, that's annoying. Yeah, that's expensive, but it's hectic. It's stressful, it's the nerves. Starbuck has never been in a TP League round of eight, and now he's aiming for the top six. Great scouts here. Great intercepts. But can you afford to lose so much mana? The Paladin is ready for some sick Holy Lights here. And no tier 3 coming. That's the big downside. Chain Lightning level 2 is good, but it's not overwhelming. Spell of Protection. The Concave is very odd. Mountain King level 5. Stormbolt level 3. Is that the end for Starbuck in the winner bracket? He has a little bit of a supply lead and a lot of gold. But he's bursting through his consumables. Might be losing quite a bit. The heroes of Sock are getting better and better and better. But the backline is protected as um, Clap is still missing. And heal skulls are missing clearly as well. The staff's not on cooldown here. Could have saved a lot of units. The shredder is about to fall as well. Mountain King, holy light. Siphon, siphon, siphon. Needs these holy lights. It's so critical for Sock to keep it up. Level 6. Now he finally gets the chain lightning that he wanted all along. 
constant reinforcements on both sides. Nobody's forgetting to macro. And Starbuck pulling back. Would love to have a speed scroll now to not being caught by Stormbolt again. But as long as you get the heal scrolls, I think this is fine. Starbuck bought Book of Retraining to keep him from getting clapped earlier. Very bucky move. Mm, okay, let's say that's right. Could have just sold it again, you know? But let's say you're right. <laughs> Next fight. Starbuck didn't heal just yet. One more heal score, but the Kodo is down. Good deficit in damage now. DPS are dropping, but uh, is... Is Sock even ready for the fight? Staffs are here, lots of end snares. These little toothpicks are raining down in the air. And at some point, the staffs are on cooldown. Whoa, the uh, Banish Holy Light combo is insane though. And Starbuck is getting damage done. A lot of damage done. But he's not getting the kills. And that's a problem. Town Portal forced. Main base is... Still a lot in. <sighs> Banish, Staff, Holy Light, insane, like 10 armor on everything. This is getting tough. This is getting real tough. The value of Sock's army with tier 3. Is a lot. I think. Can you go to tier three yourself? And Venom Spears, Shadow Hunter Hex, Tiny Great Hall, maybe even. But it was very tough to afford this for Starbuck with all the purchases of consumables that he had to go for. Is a hero kill possible? Maybe. One staff on cooldown, but only for so long. I think Sock has almost done it. But some kills are going Starbucks. Wait, that's two Griffins down in very quick succession. Can he do more? Can he get more? Not really. Kodo falling. Everything hurt. The stomps. Oh, misclick on the staff, I think. Pally! Oh my god, another super sick save, just like in the mid game. And that was a lot of kills for Sock. 20 food lead. Starbuck fighting as if his life depends on it. But tier 3 human is crazy strong. A thousand gold, 70 food, maybe even shop control now. That kill would have been gigantic for level 6 TC. But triple staff, guys. Triple staff is so sick. Free healing, free saves. If you keep the cooldown low. And get there at some point. Okay, there's 1500 here. Let's say 2200. Point 0.5k gold more for Starbuck. Keeps the expo down. Tier 3 tech now. 23 minutes in. But now we get a problem. And that problem is called clap level 3. There's no solution to this except mass air, is there? But you can't go mass air because then you're getting countered by... Shackles, usually. Starbuck in check for a long time. Yeah. 
and now his main economy is getting wiped out. You gotta take the fight! But it's David versus Goliath. Great Hall, not so great no more. There's no town portal though. Can you disable the heroes? And the uh, latest chain lightning! Oh my god, no way! Mountain King down! I report Mountain King down! This was the sickest! He gets resurrection now. Is there enough damage to be done? It is still so unlikely that Starbuck wins it. But that was the m one move that could have worked. Still, look at this. Look at this. It's murder. Oh my god, close your eyes. Game over. Oh man, a slither of hope. A slither of hope. But nah. It was too much. It was too little. It was too late. There was a lot of damage done and no heal scrolls. He was forced to defend this. Suck does it! We get a human mirror in the winner bracket! Semi-final. And that is Fortitude versus Sock. That means that we have a human in the top three.